Okay, so pretty much the issue is that Wi-Fi card. Good morning, everyone. Yes, that's me and that's someone else. You might be like, who's that? Well, pretty much last night, after I ended the stream and everything, uh, stream the vlog, um, I saw a video from a guy called Paul Thorpe. Um, he is the owner and salesman for watchdealers.co.uk. Like, he literally owns the website watchdealers.co.uk. Um, he's a massive seller of um, Rolexes in London and also is very, very, very known across the whole of the UK as one of the one of the best uh, watch dealers pretty much in the UK. And he made a video saying he's going to be inviting someone onto his show um, and all this sort of stuff like emailing what questions you'd have and a bit of information about you. So I thought, you know what, I've never emailed him before. I've watched his, pretty much all of his videos since he started and I've always wanted to get the opportunity to go on a show, you know, or talk to him. But I just thought he, being a watch dealer is going to be incredibly bu incredibly busy and probably won't have time for someone like myself. But I um, I thought I'd give it a go, you know, with this one. And within 11 minutes, he got back to me saying, yeah, we would, we'll do it tonight. So I went and did that. And um, yeah, I was featured on, on his YouTube channel and I got to speak with him for an extended period of time. Um, not just what you saw in the video, we had a bit of a chat afterwards and he gave me some really fucking great information on how to become a watch dealer. So that's really, really cool. Last night, I spoke to one of the UK's most known watch dealers. Ah, oh, that's... Things are just going really, really well. Everything's just going, like, up. It's really, really cool. I've already jumped up a lot of subs. I'm almost at 300 on the watch channel. It's already surpassed this channel by a few subscribers right now. No, by more than... It's, it's, it's going way better than this channel right now. But I'm enjoying this one still, and I won't give up on it anytime soon just because my watch channel's being it. Like, come on. I love these daily vlogs and I'm dedicated to at least one year, although I feel like once that year comes, I'll, I'll be like, you know what, let's just keep going. <laughs> I'll probably end up being like three years in and uh, yeah, still still daily vlogging. I don't know. But anyway, let me go grab a coffee and get up and get ready for the day. Okay guys, all showered and done. I am now going to get a few things done for the watch channel, uh, which it relate to the video that was done with Paul. Um, I'm going to put it on my channel, so I've just got to get that edited and get it uploaded. It's just going to be uploaded straight away. Uh, it's quite early, the views are probably not going to be there, but I don't really care. It's just to get it uploaded because I've got a video going out later on the watch channel as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get that done and then I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Oh, what is that? Is that the watch channel has just smashed 300 subscribers? Yes. How cool is that? It has smashed 300 subscribers now. Wow, I can't believe it. It's literally blowing this channel out of the water, which I kind of expected to be honest once things started going really well I was like obviously this is gonna do a lot better, but still really really cool and I'm really really happy So yay! you know what guys it is absolutely beautiful outside and because I've got a few things to get done for the watch channel today I can't really Just I don't know what that noise was can't really just go out and go for a nice walk although I'd love to so what I'm probably going to do is sit in the garden for a bit and get the work I need to get done outside. Okay, I have again bought out all my watches, my music, everything, so I can sit down, get some notes and stuff done. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice out today. And look at this. That one part of the seat is where I can sit and be in the sun. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, I'll set you guys up for some time lapses, but as you can see, the sky is just blue. Um, so you won't be able to get any clouds moving. So I guess you're going to be looking at me. Enjoy. Okay guys, I've come back in. I'm going to upload the video that I edited earlier and also I'm going to have a look at some videos and try and I'm going to try and do my own website. I'm going to give it a go. I'm not going to confirm anything's going to happen, but I'm going to give it a go and see if I can get the style I want. So that's what I'm going to try for the rest of today. So yeah, I have done a few changes to the website now. Um, it's nowhere near done. Website's still up and running. You guys can go check it out, but I've pretty much got rid of everything. I literally went on and I was like, if I want to do this seriously, I need to delete everything and start again. So everything I paid... Um, 
Chris for. I've kind of just gone and deleted. Um, he did a great job of it. If you guys are looking for a designer who can do things really well, um, go check out Chris P. Uh, Chris P. Um, on Twitter, you can get in contact with him via there. But pretty much, I want to I want to completely change the website and um, start something new. So I'll show you what I've done so far. Now, bearing in mind my plan now for the website, because there's no need to have all the links to the YouTube and obviously there'll be links, but I mean it's not got to be connected to the vlogging because there's no point. Like you guys can watch the vlogs. There's no need to have a website talking about the vlogs. Whereas the watches is something that can definitely work. So. My plan is to make it into a storefront um, where I sell on the watches and also a place where people in the UK, I'm thinking UK only so far, um, will be able to go and buy watches uh, that I've got for sale. And also I might implement reviews on there like written reviews and maybe connect somehow the video review to the watch if I've done a video review of it. Anyway, let me show you what it looks like. So when you go to here and you type in itskibble.com it loads up like this. So yes, completely different. I've completely transformed it. Um, and the logo here is the wolf, but with the watch um, thing inside, you can see it. And I'm sc it's scrolling through two pictures. The one I took of Yim with that, and then this with the watches here, I think it's a great picture. And the first slide says, welcome to the store. Feel free to look around. And it says, click to begin. Ready to purchase a watch, click the button below. You click on that, it takes you to the store. Now, obviously, there's nothing on here. This will cycle through about five pictures that I've got at the top. And obviously, once things are in here, it should change. Down here, I want links. Pretty much, this is literally it. I also want it when you scroll down, it potentially just takes you to the store. I don't know. Maybe, or, or I'll do the written reviews down here. There's a lot I still got to do and think about. I still don't know how to set it up. I need an e-commerce expert, really, uh, or WooCommerce to be... To be like particular because that's what I'm using WooCommerce. Um, I really need someone who really knows their shit, like seriously knows their shit, not just someone who's like, oh, I've got a bit of experience, I've done a bit here and there. I need someone who genuinely knows their shit. So I'm gonna have to look around. Probably gonna have to pay a business to do it. But once it's set up, and if it gets set up correctly and easy for me to use, there will be no problems and it will last me forever. And I think this could be something really, really good. Um, if I say it correctly, but anyway, that's the website right now um, There's like barely anything going on, but it should be really cool So let me know what you think so far down in the comments and let me know if you know anyone because I really need to get in contact with someone who knows their shit Anyway, I'm gonna go eat cuz I am hungry. Okay, right now. I'm looking at on eBay for like stock and stuff for watches um, To like build up a bit of a stock for Christmas so that I can sell on quite a few bits if any of you guys are actually looking at getting potentially a watch for a birthday present or Christmas present coming up, uh, just get in contact with me. My email's usually in the description, but a lot of you know how to get in contact with me anyway. Yes, I did just promote my little watch selling thing. Um, but yeah, I think for the rest of today, I'm just going to be scrolling through eBay. Uh, Yim is going to be coming on Skype in a minute and we'll probably watch Narco. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I don't really have any big plans for today. Tomorrow I'm at work four till eight. Um, so yeah, four to eight tomorrow, then Saturday two till six, I think. Um, so yeah, it's all looking good. It's all looking good. And I can get properly into selling watches there and selling watches on the side and everything's watches. So yay. Okay. Another question for you guys. I'm literally full of questions for you all the past few days. So I hope you don't mind, but I've been watching more vlogs recently and, um, Pretty much, yeah, it's making me feel like my vlogs in terms of editing are like so far behind. Like everyone's doing all these freaking awesome sequences of them, like just making a coffee. And I'm just here like, hello, hello, good morning. <laughs> so I want to know, do you guys want me to up my game? Do you want me to really put a lot of time and effort into editing and uh, make these better? Or do you like them like this? Do you like the fact that you come on here and you just enjoy pretty much cut and and fades and real simple editing that you can all enjoy or do you want to see more complex stuff i don't know like i've done some pretty decently edited stuff in the past like don't get me wrong and i know how to edit like reasonably um but yeah if you guys want to see more like crazy edits and stuff like that in the vlogs let me know um or do you like them how they are that's, that's my question. Okay, me and Yim are gonna watch The Shallows. So yeah, we were gonna go cinema to watch this, but we ended up watching War Dogs. Was that what it was called on my birthday? War Dogs, we ended up watching War Dogs, um, which was a good film. And now we're gonna watch The Shallows, which 
for those of you that don't know what it is, go watch the trailer because I can't bother to explain. So, go do okay, that. just finished the film, The Shallows. It's one with a shark, pretty good. Um, but I have one issue, and it's not with the film, it's with my PC. Do you guys see that? It's above the graphics card, you probably can't see it. That is the Wi Fi um, network card, and pretty much it's always turning off on its own. I have to restart the PC and it kicks in again. I think it's broken. But I opened the this side panel and there's loads of dust in there because I haven't dusted it out in a while. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole PC apart, dust it all, and put it all back together again. Now, I, it's been a little while since I've uh, put a PC, took a PC apart and put it back together again. So I don't know how this is going to go. Also, the cable management in there is atrocious because the case I'm using hasn't got really great cable management at all. So I need to figure out a, a solution to that. So um, let's open this up. Oh God, I think I might have to put you on my head. That might be the easiest thing to do. All right, let's do okay, that. so I'm gonna say it straight off. Do not follow, Do not use what I'm about to do as a guide on how to clean out your PC and how to put one back together again. Um, I'm probably gonna cut a lot of corners and I'm probably gonna do a lot of things wrong. So please do not copy me. Uh, second thing, make sure you use anti-static fiber cloths or whatever they're called so you don't spark something. Um, and just be safe. Do not follow me. I'll probably cut my stupid shit out so no one copies me. But yeah, uh, let's just get this done. Okay, so first things first, let's move everything off the top. Now let's unplug everything out the back. Yep, I can already tell there is a lot of dust build up back here. As you guys can probably see as well. You guys ready for this absolute mess? Okay, let me leave this. Oh my god. Okay, so pretty much the issue is that Wi Fi card. But what I'm gonna do, because I don't feel really, really comfortable taking my entire PC apart to put it all back together again because of the wire and cable management. I'm going to screw the graphics card and the Wi-Fi card, take them out, um, and then I'm going to dust this area, and then probably hoover the fans. Um, don't hoover inside, like directly inside, because it's just stupid. Um, you know, you could short sync out, you could hit a switch and turn sync and break things and stuff. So, uh, yeah, use anti-static fiber cloths here. Hoovers on fans, I think, is okay. Uh, oh my god, look at that dust build up on the back. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, guys, just done the PC. I did it off camera because pretty much I had to like pretty much strip a lot of it and clean it out and then put it back together again. I didn't really want to show me doing that because I know for a fact I'm doing it wrong. But what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to clear my entire desk, take everything off of it, wipe down my desk, uh, make sure it's all clean, wipe down my screens, make sure they're all clean. I've just cleaned my keyboard a little bit. I'm going to clean it again. Um, you can already tell it's a lot cleaner. And uh, just do that and then put it all back and uh, hopefully everything will be running a lot smoother this okay, time. Now I've completely cleaned all this shit down with the right stuff. Um, and these are clean now as well. Um, so now let's put it all back on. Look how shiny that is. Like I've polished it and shit, obviously. It's still a little bit damp, but it should be fine. Yeah, I feel like everything is uh, plugged back in. I think I remember to plug everything back in. Now for the moment of truth, where it works. All the lights are on properly. Everything looks and sounds good. Let's wait for the monitors to turn back on. It's all looking good, it's all looking good. It's looking very good. Oh wow, that's so much cleaner. <laughs> I had marks all over it, I know. I should have cleaned it way sooner, but uh, yes, I have two webcams. Yeah, it all looks good. This looks so much cleaner. There's a bit of uh, muck down there. Oh, that was just a pile up of dust. That's it. There we go. Yeah, all done. Oh, so much cleaner. Okay, that is all that done. Hopefully, I won't be experiencing the same Wi Fi problems. I will let you know tomorrow if I do, but I'm going to end today's vlog here because. I am going to relax for the rest of today and just get some bids in on some watches and that's it. So I will see you all again tomorrow at 6pm like every single day. Take care and goodbye.